When I say the word waste, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? An unpleasant smell, health hazards, and a terrible eyesore? This opinion and imagery is not an uncommon response when one is asked about what waste symbolizes. However, uh, waste is nothing but an unwanted, mismanaged resource. Across the world, various organizations like SWMRT are driving citizen movements to bring about a change in perception around waste. They are also coming up with decentralized management solutions to minimize the environmental impact of waste while maximizing resource recovery. However, while there is a strong support for these ideas, there are significant financial challenges. Not only uh, are many of these solutions or they require capital infrastructure, there is continuous expenditure towards logistics and manpower in operating these facilities. As the sector is new, bulk of financial support has come from social programs run by corporate social responsibility um, programs under corporates. While such programs are able to provide for capital support and awareness activities, they are not able to absorb the operations cost. And that is becoming a real roadblock for this sector. About 15 years back, uh, when I first got into this climate field, we realized that while there was a lot of donor-based funding um, uh, for development projects, and for me the entire thing was climate is on one hand while people who are vulnerable are, are on the other segment. And somehow this needs to tie in together. While climate changes, there are thousands and millions of us who are extremely vulnerable to the changing climate. And I basically then started uh, thinking of how we could fund that transition or, or that uh, adapt adaptation, so to speak, of people who are impacted by climate change. And that is when we, we, we came up with these ideas and, and, and brainstormed quite a lot back then. Back then, climate change wasn't as big a thing or a deal as it is today. Today it is quite a, a subject that's, that is in, in the drawing rooms. That wasn't the case 15 years back. But we, we started talking to people, we started getting movements together to try and see how can we get in more financing into this segment. And that is where elements of carbon finance were actually born. It was a global thing. Uh, it wasn't something that uh, countries like India and in other countries that I had traveled were working with. So as much as we started at that back in the day, we started with something called rural electrification, where we would just provide electrification or electricity to houses which didn't have electricity. And then the first question was, how do we fund this? And then we realized that because of this energy being clean, we have a climate mitigation angle to it. And that's where we, were, we, we started actually exploring this entire idea that somehow all these mitigation outcomes can be financially viable for the private sector. And that's where we got into various things of, of working with, um, we started with energy access and moved into clean cooking, agriculture, forestry, and now waste. It's the same thing. Anything that has a climate mitigating angle somehow fits into the story of why we should support these programs at the grassroots level. And that's where uh, my journey, which, which started 15 years back and continues and hopefully will continue even further, is to find out the, the, the financing challenges that exist within these sectors which are tied to the climate change sector as a whole and trying to see how we could plug those holes using climate funding. And that's been my journey and that continues to be. We started with one instrument. There are about 10 financial instruments that we work with now and it continues to grow every day. So while there is a citizen's movement around waste, there is a problem with the financial structure of waste management. And that is something that we need to address at various levels. The sustainability of waste management processing units depends very, very heavily today on funds from corporate social responsibility because it is very capex heavy. Capex heavy meaning capital expenditure heavy. But once that is there, you also need a lot of operating expenses that need to go towards a waste management facility. What we are trying to do at VNV is to uh, bridge that gap through different alternative financing mechanisms and that from a climate lens. It's very important to understand that the climate uh, uh, effects that I spoke about earlier has a tie-in with the financial arrangement that these projects can uh, derive from. So uh, with that... Uh, in mind, we work on various climate financing instruments, and one of them is, is called carbon finance.
carbon finance uh, typically arises from the fact that every ton of CO2 that is mitigated by these waste management facilities. And how is that done? If you're stopping waste from going to an incinerator or a landfill, you're stopping emissions. If you're stopping emissions, our work is to quantify that amount of emissions that, that you have mitigated. And that is generated through a process called carbon credit mechanisms that exist around the world. You generate carbon credits, which then leads to a different financing mechanism. And this carbon credits are something that are generated from projects year on year. And these can be then monetized towards addressing some of these operating expenses that these plants have, which is a massive challenge. You can put all the plants that you want. If you're not operating them, waste management is, 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 is not possible. So having that in mind, um, how do we do this? We basically quantify and, for example, one ton of municipal solid waste that is converted to cooking fuel, for example, will save you around 150 to 200 tons a year uh, on an average um, of CO2 equivalent. On very similar lines, if you are composting around 100 tons of uh, municipal solid waste, you would then be uh, mitigating around 30 tons of CO2 equivalent on an average. All of this has a financial value to it, and that's how we uh, look at uh, this, these financing um, uh, angles. There are other financing angles as well on the waste sector. And why am I spending so much time on financing? Because that remains a challenge in this sector. As much as we want to do a lot of waste management, it is an expensive process and it needs to be supported. There are other support as well um, uh, from the climate financing angle. We have something called ESG funds, Environment Social Governance Funds, who are basically funds which, which look at these kind of organizations, obviously at scale. So organizations like these can also act as an aggregator to get that scale through. Uh, there are different forms of uh, bonds. We, we call them climate bonds, green bonds. There are different forms of credit mechanisms where you can get discounted loans for socially, um, um, uh, um, uh, socially relevant programs such as these. So all of that put in together is, is where we are. Of course, the carbon finance piece, it works with corporates, and these corporates basically have um, emissions. Some are avoidable, some are unavoidable. Uh, the avoidable emissions, they reduce in-house. And for the shorter term, for the unavoidable emissions, they use this concept of carbon credits, where what I just explained in terms of where the carbon credits come from. So this is a win-win. Uh, why is it a win-win? Um, corporates have carbon neutrality targets. Um, and organizations at the waste management space need financial sustainability. And both of these kind of uh, come together with this whole concept of carbon finance and climate finance in general. So it's very important to keep that in mind within the waste management space that there is an alternative financing mechanism through climate bonds, carbon finance, ESG funding, and a lot of other things. Of course, it needs some amount of scale. I think in, in, in the sector, we understand that aggregation is really important, and that's how uh, this entire mechanism can give a lot of benefit to this uh, industry as at large.